Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel at the Why Not Academy. Today I'm going to give you 24 advanced alternatives for I think. You know, the phrase I think is used way too much. To me, this phrase is like the plain white bread of phrases. Sure, it gets the job done for expressing your thoughts, but wouldn't you rather have a delicious multi-layered sandwich? Exactly. So today we're going to spice up your language with 24 amazing alternatives to the boring I think. These phrases will make you sound more sophisticated, articulate, confident, and most importantly, natural. And trust me, it's way more fun than sticking to the same old thing. Make sure you stick around to the end as we explore these new phrases through a story about Sarah at a reunion you see how these phrases can transform your English and make any conversation more interesting. Here's how we're going to roll. I'll kick things off with some formal phrases, perfect for professional settings, or when you want to make a strong, polished impression. Then I'll slide into semi-formal phrases, which are great for everyday conversations that still need a touch of sophistication. Finally, I'll wrap up with some informal phrases that are super casual and perfect for chatting with friends. This way, you can pick and choose the right phrase for any situation. Let's get started. Number one, it's a formal one. It's from my perspective. From my perspective. An example? From my perspective, this reunion is an excellent opportunity to reflect on our shared journey as educators. From my perspective, this reunion is an excellent opportunity to reflect on our shared journey as educators. Or well, from our perspective. Number two, it's, it is my belief that. It is my belief that. An example? It is my belief that we're all here to celebrate our dedication to education and our students' successes. It is my belief that we're all here to celebrate our dedication to education and our students' successes. It is my belief that further expert Number three, in my opinion. In my opinion. An example? In my opinion, the school has embraced many positive changes since I last taught there. In my opinion, the school has embraced many positive changes since I last taught there. In my opinion, Mayor Peter Number four, in my view. In my view. An example? In my view, this venue reflects the respect and honor we hold for our teaching profession. In my view, this venue reflects the respect and honor we hold for our teaching profession. And um, in my view, it's fixable. Number five, it seems to me that, it seems to me that, it seems to me that everyone is enjoying reminiscing about the past. It seems to me that everyone is enjoying reminiscing about the past. We use the word reminisce to mean recalling or talking about past experiences and events, often with a sense of nostalgia or fondness. So whenever you reflect on memories from the past and you want to share them with others, you can use this advanced word, reminisce, reminisce. It seems to me that maybe... Okay, moving on to number six. I am convinced that, I'm convinced that, an example, I'm convinced that the school will continue to nurture talented and respectful students. I'm convinced that the school will continue to nurture talented and respectful students. I am also convinced that Wyndham... Number seven, my impression is that, my impression is that, an example, my impression is that the new teaching initiatives are quite effective. My impression is that the new teaching initiatives are quite effective. Number eight, as far as I'm concerned. As far as I'm concerned. An example, as far as I'm concerned, leaving was the right decision to pursue further studies, though I sometimes miss teaching in the classroom. As far as I'm concerned, Leaving was the right decision to pursue further studies, though I sometimes miss teaching in the classroom. As far as I'm concerned. Now, let's look into some phrases for semi-formal situations. At number nine, from where I stand. From where I stand. 
This phrase doesn't really refer to your physical location of where you're actually standing. It just means from your perspective or from your point of views. It's used to express your opinion or the way you see a situation based on your personal experience or understanding. An example, from where I stand, Mr. Kim truly deserved the Teacher of the Year Award. From where I stand, Mr. Kim truly deserved the Teacher of the Year Award. But from where I stand, I'm all in. Number 10. It strikes me that... It strikes me that... An example, it strikes me that the school has made impressive strides in integrating technology. It strikes me that the school has made impressive strides in integrating technology. The word stride refers to significant progress. It's like taking substantial steps towards improvement. It strikes me that as soon as I said that. Okay, number 11, we have as I see it. As I see it. For example, as I see it, the new principal is bringing a lot of positive energy to the school. As I see it, the new principal is bringing a lot of positive energy to the school. And as I see it? Number 12, my understanding is that, my understanding is that, for example, my understanding is that the new curriculum includes more holistic education approaches. My understanding is that the new curriculum includes more holistic education approaches. It is my understanding that... Uh... Number 13, it's to my mind, to my mind. It's another way of saying to me, but it highlights your personal thinking to my mind. For example, to my mind, the extracurricular activities here have always been a strength. To my mind, the extracurricular activities here have always been a strength. Number 14, I gather that, I gather that. For example, I gather that the new language program is quite popular among the students. I gather that the new language program is quite popular among the students. I gather that's not your niece. Number 15, in my experience, in my experience, an example, in my experience, students here are always eager to learn and respectful to teachers. In my experience, students here are always eager to learn and respectful to teachers. In my experience. Number 16. It appears to me that... It appears to me that... An example. It appears to me that the turnout for this event is even better than last year. It appears to me that the turnout for this event is even better than last year. The word turnout refers to the number of people who attended the event. So if the turnout rate is high, it means the number of participants present at the event was high. It appears to me that... Number 17. I would say that... I would say that... An example. I would say that this reunion is a great success. I would say that this reunion, it's a great success. I would say that... All right, it's time to move to the informal phrases. At number 18, we have, as far as I can tell. As far as I can tell. An example? As far as I can tell, everyone's enjoying catching up. As far as I can tell, everyone's enjoying catching up. To catch up, it's a phrasal verb meaning reconnecting with someone to share news and updates about each other's lives. It's great to catch up with friends from time to time. As far as I can tell. Number 19. I learned this phrase when I was in the UK, so it's a very British one. But I like the sound of it. I reckon. I reckon. It's very casual. You hear people use a lot in day-to-day -day conversation there. For my non-British viewers out there, let me know if you use I reckon in your conversation. An example, I reckon that this gathering was much needed. I reckon that this gathering was much needed. I reckon. I reckon. Number 20, I believe that. I believe that. An example, I believe that staying connected with former colleagues is very important. 
I believe that staying connected with former colleagues is very important. I believe that you believe. Number twenty one sounds like. Sounds like. An example. Sounds like you've had an excellent year with the new class. Sounds like you've had an excellent year with the new class. Number twenty two. From what I can tell. From what I can tell. An example. From what I can tell, the students are adapting well to the new changes. From what I can tell, the students are adapting well to the new changes. From what I can tell, my number twenty-three. I feel that. I feel that. It's another very good one-word alternative than I think. Example: I feel that tonight has brought back many fond memories. I feel that tonight has brought back many fond memories. All right. Last but not least. Number twenty-four. I have a hunch that. I have a hunch that. A hunch means you have a strong feeling or intuition about something, even if you don't have specific evidence to support it. It's like your gut feelings. Example: I have a hunch that we'll have more reunions like this in the future. I have a hunch that we'll have more reunions like this in the future. I have a hunch that. And there you have it. Twenty-four fantastic alternatives to I think. Did you notice the storyline I wove into the examples? Did it keep you interested until the end of the video? Well, if you're still watching it now, I suppose so. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little context and that it helped your understanding. Using different phrases can really spice up your language and make your communication more engaging. So start practicing these new expressions, if they're new to you, and see how they transform your conversation. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this lesson, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more fun and educational content. Connect with me on my IG as well. Remember to drop your favorite alternative phrases in the comments below. Until next time, bye for now.